Vicki, they were all there, bank employees, family, friends, first responders, city and state leaders, gathering on the first anniversary of what may be the darkest day in Louisville history. There's nothing more for me to add here, so we'll just let you listen to the speakers in their own words. Pray for the families of Josh Barrick, Dina Eckert, Tommy Elliott, Juliana Farmer, and Jim Tut. The last time I saw Tommy was at the ACLU Fairness Dinner. The last text he sent me, which was right after. <laughs> the last thing he ever tried to give me, which was a pair of Lululemon pants. <laughs> Marianne, I love Tommy, but I'm not sure I can do that. To the loved ones of the five amazing individuals we lost in this tragedy, please know we will never forget. We will continue to embrace you and care for you. And we will be steadfast in honoring their memories. Our minds are not meant for this type of trauma and it impacts our bodies as well. But thankfully there are people out there that love you and care about you and are trained to help us get through traumas like this. This last year has taught me that life is short. Our job is to be kind to each other and to do good things. Many of the speakers made it a point to thank police, EMS, doctors and nurses, and all the first responders who helped save lives one year ago today. Reporting live in the studio, Randall Cam, WOKY News.